Happy Wednesday, you lovely lot. Keeps us out to ask what day it was. I think, that's, I think that's a sign of a good holiday. Yeah. Uh, we're having to put up with a lot this morning. Luke has just been reciting in the poetry style of um, some sort of bard, but he's basically doing Tenacious D as a poem. It does not work. It does. It doesn't. We are but men. Rock. <laughs> anyway, it is a quarter part. No, it's half past eleven. We are having a lazy old morning. Yeah, I know. It's just like we should be out. We should be out. But I think it is kind of important to take a moment just to, you know, have a lazy, a lazier start. It is. It's been a bit of a dirty old day this morning, if I'm being honest. Um, Tropical storm Nicole. Why do they? Why do they give them like nice names? Why don't they just give them like? I don't know. Nicole. Like Nicole, like if you're called Nicole, you're probably really nice. Yeah, I feel like Nicole's quite no, nice. Maybe Nicole is watching this vlog right now. <laughs> you're ruining our holiday in this stormy way. So we are uh, Luke's just getting ready and the plan we've got like an eat well, our plans have changed slightly because of Nicole. We um, we were gonna have super late deluxe resort hours at Magic Kingdom, but they've been they've been uh, stopped which is um you know changes our plans slightly so we are gonna have to be kind of flexible with our plans because things might change anyway the, pl the loose plan is to head over to animal kingdom get a couple of bits and pieces done the uh, wait times are looking nice and light then um sensible yeah but we're okay because we've got ten dollar ponchos so we're going to be fine um so we pet the ponchos so we're going to head over to animal kingdom then the plan would be to head over to um hollywood studios get a bit of stuff done there soak up some vibes fingers crossed maybe even see phantasmic not ho holding out a lot of hope for that but at the moment it is currently going ahead and then we may or may not head over to um, Magic Kingdom to do a few odds and sods. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for today. Tracy, yeah. how are you feeling after Cosmic Rewind? Good. Yeah? yeah? You glad you did it? I'm glad I did it. I'm doing it again. Now I know what to expect. It did, it did take me a bit by surprise, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it was very much, um, yeah, it was much more extreme than I was expecting it to be. Come um, forward a little bit, just because it's got all of our, like... <laughs> we, all our mess. Right, this really should be the only area where we, like, vlog. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, it, now I know what to expect. It did take me a bit by surprise how much of a roller coaster feel it had. I wasn't expecting it to bank as much as it did. That's the thing that I find hard with even Slinky. I don't like the banking very much. So, and it's very fast, but it's very smooth. And you kind of know that you're gonna be okay. Um, and I'd definitely do it again. Well, that's kind of, that's kind of, not important, but that, that's like, we had a really nice moment at Epcot when we were doing food and wine. Do you remember when those yes, lovely people yeah, came up to us? Lovely Liz said she did Hagrid's because she'd seen on a previous vlog that I plucked up, plucked up the courage and I could do it. She thought if I could do it, she could do it. And she did it and she enjoyed it, which was really lovely. Um, I'm not so sure with this one that I'm the right barometer because um, if you are really worried about it, you might not like it. It was, de I was definitely on the border of, in, in the middle of it. I was thinking, oh, why am I doing this? Um, so limit. yeah. It's upper limit, yeah. It's definitely my upper limit. Um, but having done it now, I know what to expect. I think I could do it. I, I will do it again, and I think I will be able to enjoy it more. I'm telling you, I think you are the right barometer because you have you are so wary on rides. Also, you know, yeah, I think I think you should be the right barometer for that. Yeah, it does look around a bit. The, the thing I did find, and to be aware, obviously you're not used to it. It did. It's quite quick, so I could feel my neck sort of, I felt like, oh, you know, I need a, something to put my neck back on here, um, which you don't get, so just be aware of that. Yes, but it was a great ride. Yeah, and yeah. I survived it, I'm here. And you survived, survived, you're here. I'm I am super happy because it didn't make me feel sick, and Daisy and I spoke about this, mo this morning when we went to get coffee. Get in. Get in. Oh! Oh, hello. Hello. Um, for some reason, we were a little bit underwhelmed when we did it. I think it's because we may have been tired and a bit jet lagged when we rode it the first time. Yeah, I don't know, but it was a really good ride. Did it the second time, loved it. So yeah. I really know what happened the first time. Yeah, and I did not feel dodgy. I didn't either. I felt a bit ill after it the first time, but yeah, we hadn't eaten when we did it the first time. The second time we had eaten. 
We'd eat, we'd, we'd eaten a lot. We'd eaten a lot of junk. We'd eaten like chocolate covered peanuts, gummy <laughs> worms. Really yeah, it was really good. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't feel squinky on that on that second run. I think maybe because it was a little bit, I was more concerned about it. I was actually worried about it and contemplating not doing it. It was only the fact that Tracer was popping on that I did it. Um, but yeah, I was worried because the first run I did feel if that had gone on for a couple of minutes, that I might have needed one of those plain bags. But yeah, I didn't feel great. But this time, I don't know, maybe I was concentrating more on finding a focal point, you know, that point on horizon, on the horizon. But yeah, I was fine on it. Anyway, enough of my waffling. Oh, also, <laughs> I'm still waffling on. Um, how good was Ohana? I loved it. Best vegetarian option, I think we've, like, that was really good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was really nice. It wasn't the same amount of food. It was, yeah, it was just, just that amount. I hate waste, and that was, I don't know why that they brought excessive. out that second that skillet. Was excessive. Yeah. And we, we like our food, you know, we don't shy away from food. <laughs> we couldn't even make a dent in that second skillet. That's crazy. That was easily enough for eight people. Yeah, easily. I mean, it, it always did have a reputation of like any, any buffet at, at Disney is going to give you good value, um, and it always did have a good reputation for that. But it was more than I even anticipated. Yeah. But it was lovely. It was really lovely. It was a really cool place. I really enjoyed it. It was great. I just realised. We've got Bluey on our favourite TV show. <laughs> we love it. If you've got the, if you're if you're not watching Bluey, turn this off. Go and watch Bluey. It will change your life. We've sat here and also because look at right. This is a children's program and we're all grown. This up. is not a children's program. Like this that. is written by like people like us and you like. It's just uh, because it's been quite an emotionally charged trip. Luke not joining us till late. Hello. You had a few moments watching Bluey this other day, yeah. didn't you? I don't know what it is about it. it. I don't know what it is, I don't have some music. I don't know what it is, but it's it gets pretty emotional. Luke's like, turn this off! Like, turn it off! Right, we are heading, uh, Luke's gonna join us later. What? Um, well, you're not ready, are you? Yeah, so, we are gonna head over to Animal Kingdom. Right, we're at Animal Kingdom. This is just as I've got off the bus. How cool is that Christmas decoration? You were trying to get the shot. You were trying to get, trying to get the you shot. You were trying to, yeah. <laughs> right, it's a bit windy. It's a bit blowy, but we're heading in. It's a bit blowy. All the Christmas decorations are out. It's super festive. And we've currently got like a, a version of the Holly and the Ivy playing. Oh, Daisy's got a mark on her spirit jersey, but... I must have worn it yesterday and sat down on something that had something on it. Never mind, we will get it out. This, the park does feel super quiet. It feels like some sort of special after hours event. I don't think you could ever get sick of that sight of that tree. It is just amazing. Daisy was saying the other day it was heartbreaking when she realised it wasn't real. Obviously this wasn't on this trip, this was when she was little. <laughs> yeah, it's just so impressive. It's so cool. Yeah. Right, so I think the plan is to head straight to um, the safari. What's the actual full name of it? Kilimanjaro? Kilimanjaro Safari. Yeah. The Christmas decorations are amazing and it's kind of feeling a bit Christmassy. Huh? Are they elephants? Oh yeah. I was looking at like Under Island Mercantile, like the reindeer-y type. Oh, it looks lovely. We've lost the children, they've gone straight into a shop. Yep, Island Mercantile looks super Christmassy. I'm feeling kind of Christmassy, Trace. This feels more like Christmassy weather. Right, heading down into Harambe. And I think I said this on previous vlogs. The speed at which they've got their Christmas gear up, like this takes us days up to do our home. Sometimes we don't even finish it for Christmas <laughs> Eve. Sometimes we, get, we actually don't get around to doing stuff that should be there before Christmas or even after Christmas, so. I would love to see some sort of time lapse of what goes on in the parks. Yeah, I think there is something on one of the Disney channels. Really? I saw an advert for it, but I don't think it was up before we came away, but yeah. I'd love, look out for that I would love to see that. Yeah, all the Christmas decorations up in the windows. It's amazing. Right, it is half past 12. Daisy's got a Christmas dancing jam on. And it's a 35 minute wait for uh, 
the safari, which is great. And what are we going to see? Oh, you stopped to see some otters. Um, I love otters. What's that channel you watch? <laughs> so, there are these two otters on YouTube called Hannah and Kataro, and they are adorable. And uh, Mum and I have spent evenings just watching them, and that's it. Like, <laughs> Hours and you just, so you've just got your otter fix. We are probably their highest <laughs> like, viewers on that. But yeah, there were some otters, and because it's raining, they were sort of out and about digging holes. And one of them was eating like this. <laughs> and it was so cute. <laughs> right, just about to head on to the safari. Also, remember that we are just going to be guests in these animals' homes today. The yeah, hippopotamus can also get up to around 5,500 pounds. Because of this, they do not like to swim. They instead prefer to walk along the bottom. So crocodiles are going to be the largest species of crocodile in Africa. Uh, they're also going to be in a female-dominated society. This just means... I also feel like we have found some of these wildebeest over here on our right side again. So they can better pinpoint her in the large herd of zebra. No two giraffe will have the exact same coat pattern in the same way that no two humans will have the same fingerprint. A giraffe are also one of the tallest animals in the world, getting anywhere from 16 to 18 feet tall. They do use their height, like I mentioned earlier, to prune the bottoms of those trees and create the beautiful canopy effects around the savannah. We're going to have that beautiful red and blue coloration on their noses for the men, though. The beautiful ivory tusks on the front of their face, which they do use to kind of defend against predators and settle disputes within the group. In those ears, so as they're flapping them around, um, which then actually help all flamingos get that beautiful pink color from the food they eat, which is going to be mostly green structures. Ducks. Now about a year half, so finally it does reach the very tops of their heads. Um, amazing. Now we do actually have a lot of flamingos also that are in their eyes. It works the opposite of cheetahs. Now that white is actually going to, that white rhinoceros do get pretty big, up around 5,000 pounds. They're also going to have a very wide mouth. They use that wide mouth, but they actually take in a lot of grass and hay. So they're going to be mostly grazers and things like that. We can go to the conservation station itself and all about the Disney conservation fund. But we are going to make animals out of the wild and there's some ways that you can get involved as well. Say again? We did, yeah. How do you look good in a poncho? I don't look good in a poncho. Yeah, I look great in one. Yeah, that was good. Uh, yeah, I didn't think we were going to see as many animals as we did, but we saw a few. Yeah, I think we saw more of something. Um, and I think the only thing we didn't really see were the um, warthogs. Yeah, no, that was great. Right, we're currently on the Gorilla Falls Walk in the glorious, uh, in the glorious weather. Hello. Hello. Thanks a bunch, Nicole. Right. So it's just like nature exhibits and bits and pieces and it's covered. What are you looking for, Daisy? Where? Where where? Oh. I got um so you got a snake in here. There's a turtle or a tortoise at the back corner. Oh, it's cool in here. Henry the hippo. He's just waiting for him to come back around. He's... Is he coming around? There, there oh wow! That's amazing! Oh, that's incredible! So this is actually a really cool nature walk. However, <laughs> yeah, not a massive amount of cover, obviously, apart from the indoor attractions, and a lot of the animals are taking cover, which I think we might have to do in a minute. Yeah, I think you might have to. Got some moist boys there, mate. Got some soggy sandras on my feet. That's uh, my my shoes are not quite as waterproof as they once were. They've lasted well. But uh, not exactly impervious to the rain. Squelchysocks.com. <laughs> so. Right, I think we're going to potentially get some shoes for Luke. And we're going to head, hopefully, fingers crossed, to Nomad. I'm going to get some 
cover and some uh, refreshments. Lead on, Daisy. Right, in a shop, we're on the hunt for Crocs for Luke. But this shop is so cool. This is the one as you come into Animal Kingdom, kind of on the left. It's got everything in it. I say it's got everything in it. Has it got Crocs in it? Yeah, not. They got they got Crocs with like fluffy texture on it, which I don't think it's gonna. Happen. It's not what we need. Come on, Luke. I know you got wet feet, but it's Christmas. It's worked. Luke's got very wet feet, and he's been a bit disappointed, but. We're in Dino Land, furious. you're not furious, and everybody has lost the ability to walk around. I'm walking like an idiot. <laughs> I'm gonna hire the park out. <laughs> Just me. Right, we find ourselves <clears throat> in Restaurantosaurus with, uh, let's get, these are, are massive. Wow. Happier? Better. That's wet and, wet and rubbish out there, Trace. Uh, this is gonna be interesting, I think. I think I'm gonna have to get a knife and fork. Oh, 100%. Uh, no knife and fork oh. for this man. And Daisy, you've gone for. Well, apparently this is the home of the Impossible Burger, and they have an Impossible Burger that's like spicy southwestern, which is the most exciting thing I've probably eaten all of them. You excited? On the burger radar. Yeah, I am actually. Nice. So we've obviously gone for chili cheese dogs. Luke, how is it? It's really good actually. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Going down a tree. And suddenly, everything is all right in the world. I've no idea how you've just done that with that. That was impressive. But we're just saying, this does feel like a hidden gem. I don't know if it's because it's so horrible outside and you've got like, in here it's warm, quiet, Christmas lighting, Goofy singing, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> but this is really, this is like a little, a little oasis, a little haven. Yeah. I'm loving it. I'm digging it. Right. Ready? Ready. Right, if anyone is interested, if you ever want to come to Animal Kingdom when there's a tropical sc storm slash hurricane on their way, what is Everest currently stood at, Daisy? Five minute wait. But this restaurant is lovely. Really nice, warm, welcoming. Food was really, really good. Would definitely recommend. Right, we're heading on to Dinosaur. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> The four poncheros. Right, heading on to Dinosaur, it's a five minute wait. I have never seen it so quiet. I love Storm Nicole, she's brilliant. Everyone's gone home. Who's ready to get a dino? Let's roll! So, dinosaur done, how was that? That was fun. It's good, wasn't it? It does throw you around. It does throw you around a bit. I think you could, if you, you might, you could fall out of that if you're like on the edge. Yeah. I knew you forgot to put my, when I got in, I forgot that I had to put a lap belt on. I was like, God, I did. Yeah, really good ride though, but yeah, it does, it does shock around a bit. Did, uh, did you enjoy that number one? Did, yeah. It was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Daisy, how was that? Very good. Nice. Are you looking for ride times? Literally, most things are five minutes away. Um, the flight passage is 60. Cool. Right, we've got some decisions to make. Right, what have you got? What mystery bag of pins? Yeah. I've got my backpack. Nice. New backpack, New which backpack. we love. What are the choices? Well, I'm glad you asked that. I want the Phantasmic one. You can get the Phantasmic one. You can get Ariel and Floinder. You've got the magic carpet. You've got uh, three wise men. I think this one. Might You've be got the magic Pirates of the Caribbean. You've got. Uh, oh, this was it. Ragpus. Though. What's his name? Ragpus. <laughs> Ragpus. Ragpus. <laughs> and you've got Jaws, and then you've got the Yeti. I've got the Hitchhiking Ghost. Oh, that's and cool I actually really like that. Yeah. It's the same colours. What else you got? Um, Do you want me to hold the Hitchhiking? I wanted. I wanted to get uh, oh, Bruce. I want Bruce. Oh. And Pirates of the Caribbean. No. Nice. Which I don't like that much, so I can trade it. You can nice. just throw it. Just okay. Because <laughs> you got these but to like trade as well, didn't you? Yeah. How I many pins to... are in there? Two? Yeah, just two. And how much was that? Like $20. <laughs> $20 for two pins. <laughs> right. Uh, I think we're going to do Everest. Yeah. Oh, the glamour. 
Right, the children. Should we stop calling them children? I don't know what else we call them. Young adults? <laughs> well, they're, they're just adults. Yeah, so Luke and Daisy are on uh, Everest. I'm giving that a swerve. I think my time on Everest is coming to an end. There's a bit where it goes backwards and sort of court screws down. It spins me out a little bit, so yeah, we've had a nice big lunch. Definitely didn't want to take any chances, but it's a five minute wait, which is pretty much a walk on. So um, kids are on it and we're gonna go in the shop and get some chocolate covered peanuts. Right, Tracy and Luke are heading back to get dried and hunker in for the night. And Daisy and I are having a bit of a nostalgia throwback because what are we about to get on? Tough to it is tough to it's be tough a bug. Hard, I know. Everyone thinks it's easy, but it's not, it's, it's tough. <laughs> we haven't been in this queue for a long time. This really is a cool queue. Armadillos, crunchy on the outside, soft in the middle. Right, I won't film in here because it is like super 3D, but this is like the theater that you sit in and you're supposed to, how would you describe this? In a termite mound, maybe? A burrow. A burrow of bugs. A bug burrow. It's a really, really good show. Right, I haven't done that for a long time. That, I'm, I'm saying it, Daisy, that is a must do. I love it. It's amazing. It's so fun. If you've got like really little kids, maybe the spiders are a bit it's creepy. creepy. It's quite like dark, not like scary dark, but like, the lights are off dark. Yeah. And, and, the, and the spiders. They came down pretty low. Yeah, it's quite loud as well. So maybe, yeah. And smoky and a bit stinky. Yeah. Yeah, there's lots of effects. There's it's, a lot of. It's 4D, so yeah. Going on. Right, coffee time. Yeah. Right, the otters are out. They are pretty oh, cute. <laughs> oh, they're lovely. I want one. Nope. Right, leaving the park. That was a good day. It was a good day. Wet, yeah, but I think wet. we're expecting, hold on a second, Christmas. Um, yeah, that was really good. You and Luke got to do Everest, which was fun. Yeah. Tough to be a bug was fun. It was all fun. It was fun. Right, we're going to get the bus back now. The Christmas decorations here are fantastic right, too. It's 20 past seven and looks like everything's closing down a little bit. Park, huh? You thought I was just having a chat to myself like a madman. <laughs> Parks have closed, everything's closing, so I think we're going to have a night in chilling. Keep an eye, like an update on um, Storm Nicole. We've got it on the news, but that's probably going to turn into a film at some point. And I think we're probably going to order a pizza on Uber, Eat. Uber Eats. Um, it doesn't look too bad outside. You know, just it's just wet. No, it doesn't. You know, it's not the nicest evening. It's not raining at the moment, and it's not a lot of wind. However, I think being indoors is the best bet. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this evening plays out. Right, it's quarter to nine. Uber Eats is nearly as it's as amazing as Uber. We've just had. I've been outside. It's now wet. The hurricane is coming in. Um, but yeah, we got pizzas. Uh, they come in from Winter Garden, which is a few miles away. Thoughts on the pizzas? Mm -mm. Everybody happy? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's getting wet outside. We're trying to find something that we all can agree on to watch, and we're trying My Octopus Teacher. It's not the normal sort of thing we'd watch, but we're giving it. A it is the 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 five past ten. We have we didn't stick with uh, My Teacher's an Octopus, but. We stuck with, we went with Zootropolis. Is it Zootropolis or Zootopia? I can't remember which way around it is, but I think that it's named differently in the US and the UK. We have definitely eaten too much food. Uh, mm. Why do we keep doing this? I don't know. It's also nice. So nice. Um, we're going to take a look outside to see what's happening with um, Storm Nicole. Ooh, it is a bit windy. Let's have a look. Yeah. No. Oh, I'm not locked out. Yeah, it's you know, it's windy, it's rainy. So yeah. We'll um we'll see how that turns out. Disney has made a 
announcement. So, uh, 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 the parks will be opening at 12 o'clock midday. So, um, that's good. So hopefully, well, they're obviously not expecting it to be too dodgy. Um, so tomorrow the plan will be head over to Epcot and then tomorrow uh, in the evening, fingers crossed, we've got Mickey's Merry Christmas Party or words to that effect. So yeah, that should be really exciting. And at the moment that's all going ahead. So thank you very much for following along with us today. Stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Cheers. Is. Cheers.